Hey guys, I'm Jack Kim from Duo, and we're turning your TV into a very powerful AI computer. Fascinating, right? So, we all know what this is. Well, I hope you do. It's a TV. In fact, it's not just any TV, it's a smart TV. And like all the other smart devices out there, it promises so much. But is it actually that smart? Well, TVs are great for watching content like Netflix or playing games like Xbox, but when it comes to the end of the day, Throughout a 24-hour window, it's usually turned off, just taking up a lot of precious space in your living room or in your personal bedroom. Now, this is something that you paid a lot of money for and has a lot of really good screen real estate. It could be doing so much more. Now, Duo is a small little device that plugs into your TV to turn it into an always-on visual AI assistant. It looks like this, and it runs apps that let you stay on top of your day and control your smart home. So you can kind of think of it as mission control for your entire home. One dashboard to show you what exactly is going on in your home, your different nest camp feeds, what your current energy bill usage is, and so much more. Now, it sounds a little bit complicated, but basically all Duo does is it transforms your dumb content consumption device into a very powerful, full-on, ambient computer. So it's kind of like having your own Jarvis uh, in your living room. So the best part about Duo is the fact that you can actually control all of it by just talking to it. So if you want to play some music, you can ask it to. Play some music videos, it can pull that up. If you want to see some cute cat gifs all of a sudden, it can do that as well. Now, I think the best way to showcase this, to actually show you, so one of our co-founders can take it away from here. Thanks, Jack. So I'm here in my living room with Duo set up at our TV. Uh, we tried to do a live demo at the museum, but couldn't really fit this thing into our UberX, so you'll have to understand for now. Hey, Duo. Introduce yourself. Hello, humans. I'm an artificially intelligent assistant that lives inside your TV. You can ask me about the weather, play music, or program me to do anything. So say the room is getting a little bit chilly. Let's try changing the temperature. Hey, Duo. Turn on the heat, please. Sure. Adjusting as thermostat. So besides being able to control single apps, Duo can handle complex sequences, what we call scenes. So these are different chains of apps that you can program depending on a specific time of day. So say I wake up, I have my TV in my personal bedroom, and I just say, hey Duo, good morning. Good morning, sir. The weather is clear. You have three events on your calendar, and here's the top three news stories from today. So besides the morning scene, one of our most uh, popular uh, default scenes is the home dashboard. So this gives you a bird's eye view of exactly what your smart home is doing at any given time. Hey Duo, show me the home dashboard. Sure, showing the home dashboard. So in this case, I have all my nest camp feeds in one place, and then a bird's eye view of exactly which rooms are set to which temperature and which lights are on around. Uh, another cool one is the family scene, so check this out. Hey Duo, where's my family at right now? So in this case, it shows me a map of exactly where my family members are at any given time. Um, this would be with a companion app that's not uh, part of Duo. And then you have a separate sticky notes app where you can just put on your grocery list items. Um, and lastly, because it is a TV, one of the more popular choices is to just play music videos for Duo. Hey Duo, play music videos for Uptown Punk. Sure, playing video from YouTube. Go. Yeah, that's our demo. Back to you, Jack. Thanks, Jack. That was a very well executed demo. <laughs> so, as you can see, Duo is a very open platform, and we went out of our way to make it as open as possible. It's powered by apps that you can easily publish to our independent app store and even monetize, similar to the iPhone app store or the Play Store. Duo also ships with a handful of really uh, polished native apps, such as Duo News and also Gallery. In that case, it turns your TV into a rotating art frame. Now, it's also really, really easy to build apps on top of Duo. It's 100% HTML, CSS, and JavaScript based, so you don't have to learn any new languages like Swift, Objective-C, or Java to build on top of it. Now, this is why it's proven to be very popular with web developers, because it's so easy to build apps on top of it. Second, we have built-in voice intents powered by JavaScript. So it's no different than basically building an Alexa skill or a uh, Google Assistant skill on top of it. Third, and most importantly, we have personality pack APIs that let you really change anything about this AI to truly make it your own. 
And also, every app that runs inside of Duo is actually its own browser instance. So this makes it so it's really easy to port any existing web app directly into Duo and add a couple of voice intents to make it work. As an example, this Giphy app that you're about to see took us five minutes to write at about 20 lines of code. And this time, my other co-founder will actually show you. Hey, Duo, show me GIFs of cute puppies. Wiener dogs, how cute is that? That is pretty cute, Jack. <laughs> so again, Duo is really, really personal. So this is something that Alexa can't do or Google Assistant can't do. But everything, and I mean really everything, is customizable, from its name to its accent to voice or mood. And we could see a lot of reasons uh, or a lot of ways developers can get creative on this front. Uh, so these are personality packs that you can download from the App Store, much like the other apps on Duo. So you could imagine having a Jarvis app themed differently, it changes the wallpaper, changes its voice, and so forth. In terms of traction, we had an early developer preview around April, and there's a lot of developers that are really waiting to get their hands on this thing. We've had over 500 applications from indie developers that make different skills to bigger companies like Uber or Zynga that wanted to uh, you know, evaluate the platform for uh, their, their own platforms as well. So in the long-term goal, we want to bake this thing into TVs, and so we're talking with OEMs to do that. But for now, we're launching a low-cost device, under $100, that you can plug into really any TV to turn it instantly into an AI assistant. So this is sort of an HDMI gateway that acts as a hub. So you can plug in your different inputs like an Apple TV or a Chromecast, and this in turn plugs into your TV, has an always-on microphone, is always listening, can switch between these sources, and also has an embedded processor running our operating system. So what's next? We're actually still pretty early. We started this just 10 or 11 weeks ago, and we hope to launch the first version of this as an Electron app that you can download for free on your Mac, Windows, or Linux to build on top of it. And we hope to do that in July. August, we hope to launch the actual device on a separate Kickstarter. And in December, we hope to ship them by then. So we know a thing or two about building creative products. I personally used to work at Giphy, building some of the integrations. So I have a little bit of a tie with Betaworks. And I run my own Betaworks type startup studio called Ember Labs here in New York, where we built and launched several viral products, of which Duo spun out of. Besides me, uh, Solomon is our head of partnerships. He actually just returned from a business trip in Thailand, and we're talking with one of their top condo developers to build Duo into their uh, new homes, which is really exciting. Nick brings a lot of engineering experience to our team, having built a lot of scalable systems at bigger companies. So, oh, also, fun fact, two out of the three of us dropped out of school to pursue ventures. So if that doesn't scare you, and if you're just as excited as us to see all the creative ways that de developers can build on top of our platform, then come talk to us and let's make TVs smart again. Thank you.